Hey, welcome to my channel. And if you're new here, welcome. My name is Moonshine and we're outside of my chicken coop. Art is my passion, but so are animals. So I figured since it is so challenging for me to find the time, the place, and the space, for it to be quiet. I figured I'll just do it like this and we'll run it and you know I think it's nice. Maybe not Lil Lemon's voice. He sings out very loudly and it's it's cute. I think it's adorable but anyway. In today's video we're going over the character design process of Mel. Now I'm very sure of Mel's character. I'm very sure of her origin. I'm very sure. I'm very set I should say on many of her specifics but I don't have a last name for her yet. You know that's my bad I guess I should say. So we're here to talk about Mel a little bit. First and foremost, Mel is a big old goofball and the fate of the world rests on her shoulders. Nobody knows why, nobody knows how. They just know that it's it's her problem she's got to solve. She knows it and she's dealing with it as best as she can. Mel is the main character of my comic series, Altered. She lives in a small one horse town, a very small town. Everybody knows everybody. And it's along the Southern Ridge of the Appalachian Mountain Range. Recently, her town has been uh, kind of tossed up onto its head along with the neighboring towns due to some mysterious disappearances that have been happening at the this moment in time when our story begins, nobody has any leads. Nobody has left behind any clues or any evidence to be followed or traced to find any kind of suspects. But people are disappearing constantly, all different ages, all different kinds, all different situations. It's a similar pattern of disappearance to where they don't yet believe that any that these are unrelated but there's no consistent mo there's no almost like they don't even know who they're looking for just as a disclaimer it's a little tough for me to talk about my story while avoiding spoilers especially because there's so little of my story that is out to where pretty much the whole story is spoilers at this point but I still want to talk about it. I still want to share my character design. I'm, I'm proud of them. I'm proud of everything I've done up until this point. I have been working on this comic for years. I don't mean like, oh, it, it's been in the works for years. I mean, like over 10 years ago, I started working on the plot for the story. I made revisions here and there. I scrapped it. Life got in the way. I got a job. I, you know, we moved. Then I started the story. Then we moved again. Then my art style changed. Then I had to redo it. Then we moved again. It was just a lot going on. And so it wasn't really realistic for me. That's Smeagol. I can tell the difference between any one of my rooster's crows. They are so stinking hilarious. I love them. They're, they're so nice. Anyway, so Mel is essentially a rootin' tootin' little snoopin' detective wannabe. She is an honor roll student. She's in her senior year of high school, approaching winter break. Or I guess approaching Thanksgiving break, actually, is when the story first takes place. She is a troubled teen. She does not have a very stable, I guess we'll call it stable, she doesn't have a very stable upbringing, a uh, stable life. Uh, the only real consistency and st stability in her life she gives to herself. She's a very independent person. For being so independent and for being so good at keeping herself out of trouble and keeping her life in order, it's a miracle she's survived as long as she has. So basically, when we're introduced to Mel in the story, we see that she's plagued with these nightmare visions. She's had the visions ever since the disappearances started happening. She has these visions and she's just she knows in her heart of hearts that this has to do with her this is her business she needs to figure out what's happening to these people who are going missing and so she enlists the help of her best friend in the whole wide world Eva these two kids have oh my god they are are wild. Anyway, why is Mel important to the story? Well, she's important to the story, namely because the fate of our world rests in her hands, at least in this universe, it does. It's a tall order. It is a very tall order for a 17 year old honor roll student who's just trying to get into college out of state. Wherever life takes her, she knows that she is destined for bigger and better things than the situation that she was born into. Much of this story is about her coming into her own as an individual, learning about her abilities, learning about what she can do, what she really is capable of, in spite of what anyone else may want her to think. 
she ends up abandoning the family she was born with, which wasn't much of a family, and she ends up making a new one with some very unlikely friends. And through their adventures all together, they end up forming a really strong bond, like a strong sisterhood. That I can say because if you've watched any of my other videos, then you may likely have seen the character design process for Robin. Robin is also another one of my characters from my story Altered, and she and Rob, their relationship is very important to the story. It's critical. Her relationship to everybody in the story plays such a huge part in her growth and development as the story progresses. And by the end of it all, when all is said and done, and it's it's high noon, you know, it's time. It's through those bonds that she has managed to forge and the relationships that she's fostered with these people and these new friends of hers that she is able to finally say she has a family that she loves and can be proud of and that is proud of her. A lot of her story has to do with, with that, with like family ties, with how complex complicated relationships with family members can be. A lot of her story goes over things that not a lot of people talk about when it comes to troubled teens who maybe fall through the cracks. I'd be lying if I said that I didn't base a lot of her story and a lot of her design off of my own childhood uh, as a troubled teen myself. It's kind of like a love letter and a parting memoir. To, to some of the shit that I went through and how it turned me into the person I am today. Just things like that, you know. Sappy, sappy little bit. That's cool though. You may notice that there is no weapon design with Mel's character design. And that is because with Mel, her skills, well, they're letting to be found out, but she she's not skilled with a weapon. I would not trust her with a weapon. <laughs> She doesn't really know what to do with them. Her weapon is actually herself. Oh my gosh. I'm sorry, hold on one second. Lucky day. Oh, it's a lucky day. I found a cicada. I found a cicada husk. You know, I've been lucky enough now three times to see a freshly hatched or fle freshly deshelled cicadas. I'll put up some pictures. I love cicadas. I collect cicada shells because I think they're lucky. I love them oh you can even see where he was like hugging the little leaf to like latch on <gasps> i'm sorry they're so stinking cute have you guys okay have you seen where somebody took their cicada husk collection and made like gundams of them? <laughs> i think that's so genius honestly anyway mel focusing on mel mel and eva go on these wild adventures all across the country across the globe even. They're on these adventures to try and get answers so that Mel can be as prepared as she can be for when the time comes for her to restore our world to the way it was. There's a lot of mischief, a lot of mayhem, there's magic, there's a whole bunch of cool shit in this show. It's like, so imagine if Sailor Moon took place in the streets of LA or in the backwoods of Alabama in a holler somewhere. Just stuff like this shit. I love Sailor Moon. I, the dick dub original, like that's my original dub anyway. The dick dub, it's forever ingrained in my memory. I can't, ooh, it's a huge inspiration. I take a lot of inspiration from a lot of shonen uh, manga and anime. I take a lot of inspiration from shoujo as well. It's kind of like a shoujo, it's like the Goonies meets Sailor Moon meets Bleach would be a good one, meets like Bleach. I want to put my hair back up, so I'm gonna do that, but we can keep talking, that's fine. I just was trying to look nice and I was having a good hair day. That's my story. I'm so, I'm so sweaty. If my story sounds like it interests you. If you like how my character designs are, if you're interested to learn more, then I would suggest sticking around. I listen to people all the time do these YouTube outros and I guess it's just practice. I don't really, I'm not used to doing this. I don't really, you know, it's not my thing. You see that? They're got it first try so if you like the video cool you can check out more if you want i have more if you're interested in my comic and you want to see how it turns out <laughs> me too so for a little bit of uh behind the scenes on my comic i guess i'm the only person working on it it's just me i do the art i do the writing I, i'm self-published 
or I will be self-publishing when it's ready to be published. The first two pages are done and they're up on my website right now. I can put a link for that if you want uh, to check it out. It's down below in the description box. If you want to see more of the art or the animals, anything that I might have to offer, or if you're interested in seeing more of my content, more of my videos, excuse me. See, I can't even get it out my body's rejecting it. If you're interested in seeing more of my videos, uh, you're more than welcome to subscribe. There is a notification bell there if you want to sign up for notifications. You don't have to. It's okay. It's chill. Those things don't work half the time anyway, if I can be honest. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed Mel's character design. I'll see you in the next one. I'll see you in the next one, and so will Lemon. <laughs> subscribe! <laughs>